All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, on today's video, we are trying to make a intake for the turbocharger on our 8th gen turbo base model R18 Honda Civic. And we're gonna make an intake using our leftover parts from the original charge pipe from version one. So we have a bunch of two inch pipes, couplers and clamps that we will be using trying to make this uh, intake charge pipe two inch should be just fine and we can always improve as we go along and i already have been mocking up a lot of pipes and i kind of got the gist of it as you can see ever since we swapped to a two and a half inch charge pipe right here on version two we can't fit a fact like we can't fit the original intake i had that goes into the turbo but we are working on it and right now I kind of fabbed something up to the point where it's not touching anything and we're actually getting cool air from the wheel well which is pretty much like a cold air intake so this is the most optimal area to place your your intake and I'm glad I was able to snake it in there now we I did take the battery out and I did take this mount battery mount out because it gives us a lot of room here to to see what's going on as you can see not my favorite with the couplers but this will work and this pipe right over here is actually um mild steel but it doesn't really matter for this since it's hanging on clamps and couplers not a fan of clamps and couplers as you guys can see we welded this charge pipe uh, but aluminum is hard to weld and it does take a lot of time and with this being just a preliminary version intake here I think this is just fine what I'm actually planning on doing I'm gonna put the battery on check the clearances right now make sure everything is flowing nice and smooth but what I really want to do I also just want to take some uh, videos and possibly what I want to do is delete the battery from here do a trunk battery relocation and then this way i can possibly fit a bigger charge pipe from the turbo rocket around here and just like have the intake right here and that way i can possibly run a two and a half inch but uh i mean for low boost application i think this two inch pipe will be just fine and uh, again you can't see the couplers once i put the battery cover on here so all in all i'm pretty happy with with how it came out And like I said, it should work just fine. And we're gonna get the cooler intake air temps during driving and during pulls. And one cool thing is because this is metal and uh, not aluminum, that little pipe, I'm actually gonna try to weld on a little pipe, a uh, hollow pipe, right? This is gonna be like a, a bung for my oil catch can. So originally I was planning on doing aluminum fitting like this onto this pipe here just cut it off and mount it somewhere here so it can go into my oil catch can but since i have that and it's a lot easier to weld on steel i think i'm gonna run it with the steel and see how it goes now originally i'm venting this all the way down under the car and i'm also venting the positive crankcase ventilation is just a straight through barb fitting venting under the car and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take that one into one port we're gonna take this one into another port so we're dumping in all the gases and oil that's gonna catch itself right over here with the oil catch can and then from from the middle port right here we're gonna get a nice vacuum source into the intake here so as we're driving, as we're in full boost, all that vacuum that's getting sucked in from the intake is actually gonna be pulling out all the exhaust, uh, all the combustion gases in the cylinders, which is gonna help improve efficiency. It's gonna help excrete the gasoline and the vapors in the engine. 
so they don't deposit in the engine they don't dilute my engine oil to be thinner especially during the winter when you have a lot of uh, moisture i mean this oil catch can was filling up like crazy so i think by doing that we got an efficient system that's gonna work that's gonna be all year round and the only thing after that is just keeping a tab on the oil catch can make sure when it fills up we drain it but don't worry about that because eventually what i'm going to do i'm going to create a hose down here that will be able to drain under the car and i'm going to have a valve on it so i can just switch the uh turn the valve drain it pop it back up and then this still this thing will still seal nice and tight and hold all the vacuum it needs so let me know what you guys think but uh i'm just gonna finesse everything tighten it down and get it going and i think we're gonna be solid here with the intake on the ebay turbo version 2 build here let's go and one thing i do want to mention also i did have a front license plate right over here on my car but i did notice like my main intercooler charge is going right through the top here so with this being here I'm, I'm really taking away from the cooling from the intercooler so right now i'm taking it off i was thinking about maybe bending my license plate to be really thin and just keeping it on the plastic portion here but i don't know i don't know if i want to do that i might just rock it without a front license plate and try to get lucky hopefully the police don't pull us over but uh the, everything's going pretty smooth right now something just like that all right we cleaned up the hole we got everything cleaned up acetone so we're pretty much just going to be aligning it here and trying to tack it on once i tack it on i'll fully weld it put it back in the vehicle and we'll test fit it you know, i'm kind of eyeballing everything here but i'm hoping everything fits and again this is going to be this is going to be super functional and this is exactly what we need started welding really nice but again i'm out of argon so it got a little nasty here but everything works good we just got the hose fitted up to it a little half inch hose so i had to squeeze it on but that's going to be just fine i'll put a nice clamp on here and we got the pretty much the oil catch can routed valve cover in positive crankcase in and this is going to be the out which we're gonna install right over here all right at this point i have the pipe all connected all tight i don't have a bracket to mount it right now it's kind of free hanging but once i mount the battery uh, tie down i will have a better way to mount it as you can see 
I got a vacuum source right here for the oil catch can. And yeah, everything's tight. Again, I'm not a fan of all the clamps, but this thing will work and it will be out of sight. And we're gonna have our intake pipe come in here. Filter right over here. Still got some clearance from the ground. So that's perfect. Just the slightest vacuum at idle and that vacuum is just going to increase as we accelerate so it's going to start sucking up the fumes even more right, so she's going to accelerate a little bit i'm just going to watch the vacuum go ahead a little more 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 A tak więcej, tak. All right, boys, and pretty much completed here. Initial impressions are pretty good. I would like to see more vacuum, honestly, coming from this uh, intake pipe, but um, I'm pretty sure most of the vacuum is gonna be coming when I'm spooling under boost, when I'm really getting a, a lot of pressure going in the turbo, that's when it's really gonna be sucking all that air out of the combustion. And that's really when it's gonna be most critical is when I'm under boost just to alleviate a lot of the pressure. And I guess people say when you get rid of crankcase pressure, you can actually gain horsepower from eliminating some of that back pressure. So we'll see how the car runs and how she behaves. But that's a video, that's a wrap. I'm gonna toss in the bumper and we should be good to go. Catch you guys on the next video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, check out the IG and uh, pick yourself up a prescription shirt just sneaking through you can actually see how much space it has here for the cool air especially on the bottom a little hole here a couple holes here on the bottom getting in fresh air so that's plenty instantly i can see iat's getting better i started driving it was 84 as i'm driving i saw it go down to 85 and i'm just cruising right now so right now we're idling at a red light, 79 IAT. And you're gonna see it go down as we start driving.
I ain't here 